Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sherry Farmer Abair. We are learning about the spirit of St. Louis women with President Amy Inman. And speaking of spirit of St. Louis, you have a big awards event that's coming up. We do, in May. It's May 23rd. We'll have it at the De Pere, um Lodge. It starts at 5.30 and anyone's welcome to come. And basically it's a big award ceremony on our funding to all of these small nonprofits. So we get to give them the check. They get to come up on so that's stage. A check presentation it's just, too. yes, okay. and they get to talk about all the things that they're doing. So we get to love on them and celebrate all of the wonderful work that each of the different grantees are doing. And speaking of you, you invited everyone. So everyone is invited. <laughs> yes, everyone's invited. <laughs> and you are looking for other women to join your organization too. Oh, absolutely. We are open to any woman who wants to be a part. And so um, we just have a monthly fee and and then all of that goes to the community every year and organizations who might be in need of help. How can they go about reaching out to you for that funding? So we start a grant process in, sept in September, and so they can go to our website, which is www.spiritstlwomens.org, and they can apply. And okay. so as soon as they put their application in, we use the Missouri Common Grant application, mm -hmm. and they just will apply, and then we'll contact them. Now, are there certain kind of kind of rules, certain nonprofits that you look at more so than others? So we they have to have a five hundred one c three, and they we prefer to have organizations that are a million and less. Okay. So we, you want to see them grow. You want to be there, there for to, that. That's how we make the best impact. Mm -hmm. And so um, they can't get funding maybe from other organizations, and so we're there to really help boost them. And so, and they we have five different um, categories. Okay. So it's social services, health education, environment, and the arts. And so if they're in one of those categories or more, we will support them. That's wonderful. Yeah. And you also support them with education. That's correct. So what we do is we, um, we have a large, uh, we believe in having impact just through education and understanding our community. And so every month we have an education um, event to learn either about something that's going on in the community or a nonprofit and how they're supplying support to whatever that need is. So like this past uh, month we had our Discovering Community event where we learned about what's going on with the heroin addiction in St. Louis mm -hmm. and the different organizations that are doing wonderful work to support that. We had uh, Great Circle talk to us about their new high school for kids that are um, drug addicted as well as Affinia talked about the health care programs that they're are doing with medical um, interventions and so we were very excited to learn about that but we every month we have a different education event we also have education events for our members so they can learn about how to read tax documents and how to review which which organizations to give to and so it's very much about being informed smart givers into because, the community because I imagine that is kind of difficult when you look at that paperwork because you're overwhelmed it's not, and it's not that difficult if you know what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you're there yes, to help. Now absolutely. you'll help the nonprofit organizations as well when it comes to that too. That's correct. So we do help them with um, understanding what to do for how to apply for grants. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these are small organizations that may have never applied for grants before. Mm -hmm. And so it's going through that process of this is what you need. This is what this is what looks good when you're applying. Mm -hmm. And so once then they receive grant from SOS, the Spirit of St. Louis Women's Fund, then other organizations say. Oh, they got that seal of approval. Maybe I'll give them some funding. And so it's a great way to boost them also to other funders. And I know you brought some photos too with you today. Yes, so can absolutely. Can we talk about those? Yes. So um, this is a wonderful group of women who, these are different members of the Spirit of St. Louis Women's Fund. We all come together and collaborate on different grantees. And this was at our wine event. Yes, we have a lot of fun as well, <laughs> besides giving, um, where we learned about one of the grantees I mentioned before is Home Sweet Home. Awesome. Yes. And Angel Arms, this is just one of 12 organizations that we have funded this past year. Angel Arms is a foster care organization that works very hard to make sure that they have sibling groups stay together, which is a very difficult when you're talking about foster care. This. Um, this past year, I guess it was last year, they had a group of three children that needed foster care assistance and they had two other siblings that were in a different foster care uh, home and they brought them all together to um, 
to be together as a unit of five kids, which is really difficult. Yeah. But when you're already being separated from family, from parents, it's really important to have the siblings yeah. together. It's a very difficult time in their lives. Well, Amy, I thank you so oh, much. Thank you. The Spirit of St. Louis Women's Fund is a group of women from all backgrounds coming together to support small, innovative nonprofits in St. Louis through education and collective funding. For more information, visit spiritstlwomensfund.org. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.